Welcome dads, it is Sunday night, that means it's day two of the One Habit Challenge. Boom, good to have you here, good to have you here. Where, <laughs> say good to have you here. If you're watching on the replay, then give us a hashtag replay in the group chat so that I know that you are participating. Also, you know, send me some kind of picture of, if you don't want to put it publicly, that's fine. You know, put it in the chat, let's see you on your challenge you know what is it that you're up to is it the glass of water in the morning is it the bedtime is it the cutting out the sugar or the beer is it who else is someone doing oh someone's doing um uh reading every day you know um what else oh there's exercise definitely some exercise one so i'm here in my running top um can you see these i am fitter than I've ever been. I am about a stone heavier than I was around the time of the of the breakup. I've got a photo on my on my Facebook, you know, photo feed. If you go back to this, it's comparing, I think it's comparing 2013 with 2020, basically. And there was nothing of me. It was like stress and drama. And just by creating this fitness habit this health habit i have basically well of course i put on on, on muscle i put on weight but but the, the more importantly Sorry. could you say that again <laughs> no i can't siri when i stand like my presence my shoulders just my physical presence is completely transformed and that is part of the power of habits is that you are going to be able when you master your habits to transform your physical presence, to transform your emotional presence, to transform your bank balance, to transform your relationships, like this amount of control. I don't want to over egg it, but the comparison is when you don't have any control over your habits, right? And you're creating chaos. We spoke about this last night, right? Notice no routine is a routine. No good habits <clears throat> is probably a bunch of bad habits. Okay. So, at the risk of going over the same old stuff, tonight you might have seen the little 60 second I put in the chat today about willpower, okay? Willpower. You've got to have enough willpower to, to push through to take on the habit. I can assure you that there is, it's very rare that I work out and I'm excited about doing it, right? Again, just to put some context around my working out, I don't do an hour a day but I do do something every day. And when I got this shoulder injury this year, I realized I wasn't giving myself any rest days. I started doing some yoga. The yoga not only helped the shoulder, but it's helped my back, it's helped all sorts of things. So by being on the journey, you learn more stuff, you evolve. And willpower, it's, it's really easy to say, oh, I just haven't got the willpower, right? That's fucking bollocks, okay? Willpower, is as simple as opening or closing a door. Do I want the door open? Do I want the door closed? It could be that black and white for you. It's just that we don't have it be that black and white. Mel Robbins got a great book. I, mean, I listen to a lot of books, right? I listen to a lot of books, actually. I've had an Audible membership, subscription, whatever, since 2009. So I've got over 150 books in my Audible account. I absolutely devour them. How is your self-learning, your, your self-improvement? But Mel Robbins, what's her book called? It's not, well, her message is this 54321. It's like a just do it. And this is why I said just do it in the, in the message today. So she's talking about willpower. And she, she, she devised this thing almost accidentally by counting down from five, realizing that she just had to do it. There was no way of avoiding these these uncomfortable routines, these habits that she had to do if she was going to transform her financial situation, um, her home situation, and her, you know, and the the positive life that she wanted to change, change uh, create for her children. If she just didn't, if she didn't just do the uncomfortable things that she wasn't actually doing, so she realised that this five four three two one just do it, right? And, and like we're in a little chat together, you know, it could be five four three two one. Fuck it, just do it, right? Just fuck it, do it. Um, there's, there's nothing that you can't do. You know, Yoda in uh, Star Wars, I'm not sure which one it was, 
but it's uh, when he's teaching Luke Skywalker how to be a Jedi. He, uh, Yoda says, there is no try. Right? So you can't say, oh, I tried, but I failed. There is, there is no fail. I'm sorry, there is no try. There's just do it, don't do it. So if you say to yourself, I'm not going to drink beer this week, and you go to the fridge, there's a moment there where you look at the beer, and your brain says, oh, I said I wasn't going to do that this week. And then the shit flipping voice in your head just goes, oh, wow, well, go on. Your mates are here. You're having a laugh. You're really going to miss out on a beer? Come on. What, what is that voice? Where does it come from? Why does it rob you of all your power? And, and that's, that's the key thing, right? It, it does rob you of your power because you said you were going to do something. And now you pussied out and you're not doing it. So what does that leave you with? It leaves you with the experience of being a pussy and, and not doing what you said you were going to do. It's got no integrity. Integrity is doing what you said you were going to do when you said you were going to do it. Or doing what other people expect of you. So if you're talking about being a good dad, right? There's a, there's, there isn't really a book about being a good dad, but if you put a bunch of people in a room together and said, well, what's the measure of being a good dad? It's just simply like taking care of your kids, being available, doing the work, making some money, providing, loving them. Like we could go, we could go on, okay? But if you were gonna do something that was counter to that, you don't need to be told that, you just know it. So integrity is doing what you know other people are expecting of you in that situation. If you're a good dad, you're going to do good dad things, okay? So you know in yourself, when you open the fridge and you said, I wasn't going to drink beer this week and the beer is there, or harder still, when you're in the bar watching the football and someone says, I'm getting the beers in, and you say, actually, I'm going to have a lime and soda tonight. <laughs> No, no, it's all right. I said I wasn't going to do it this week. Boom. You've got power in that moment, okay? So it's not really willpower. Will, like, willpower sounds nice, but what if you haven't got it? Oh, I've got it, I haven't got it. I've got it, I haven't got it. It's bollocks, right? It's just having the conviction Having, a, having your voice be louder than that shit voice in your head. Because that's what will have you push, push through, okay? The 54321, no, I'm not having a cigarette. In fact, no, I'm not going to be around those people. Or uh, for me, what am I doing this week? I'm going to bed at 10.30 and, um, and I'm doing my journal. Like, what, what's in it for me? I don't even know. When I gave up bread in, in March, I don't know what's going to come of it. It's only really when you got to 30 days and I went back and ate some bread and had been horrific constipation for a day. You're like, oh my gosh, wow. I didn't know what the benefit was, but now I've gone back and tried it, I can see. And so it's a surprise quite often. You don't notice it in day one or in moment one. I dare say giving up cigarettes, you don't know instantly what it's like because you feel so crap. You've got to believe that somewhere down the line, you're going to feel a lot healthier and that's going to be good. And when I was having a conversation this morning about what habits have I given up this week? It was like, I was like, oh, well, I've kind of struggled and I have struggled because most of what I deem as possibly bad habits, I've kind of kicked, I have sort of kicked into touch. I don't mean that as a goody, goody two shoes, but whether it's porn, whether it's, alcohol, whether it's white bread pasta, whether it's sugar, whether it's dairy, like my version of what is a good habit and what is a bad habit is is, is my version. It, it's actually up to you what is a bad habit. If being a, if, if being a smackhead is okay for you and you've got no one that is, you're responsible for and fuck it, it doesn't matter, is that a bad habit? You might kill yourself. But if there's no one to upset or no one cares, who, and you're okay with it, is it a bad habit? That's the point. So, well, that's just made me think about legacy. That has just made me think about legacy. Legacy and role modeling, okay? We'll talk a bit about that tomorrow. But I will leave you with that, okay? The willpower that you can show, the conviction to do something that you said you were going to do, the evolution where people are going, whoa, what are you up to? What's that about? That's interesting. That 
is the willpower to be the best, best version of you, to better yourself, okay? And role modeling, blimey, when you're talking about being a dad, when you're talking about your children, when you're talking about legacy, what kind of role model are you being? And I don't mean like a footballer, Wayne Rooney, you know, naughty boy type role model. I'm talking about the example you're setting to the people that matter most to you. And for most dads, that's your kids. So, where are you, first of all? There's 21 dads, 21 men on this One Habit Challenge. You're all in the, in the uh, messenger chat. Some of you are messaging. I want to know how it's going. I want to see a picture of you on your, on your One Habit Challenge. And share. What's, what's good? What's easy? What's, what's the growth? And then what's hard? What's the challenge? Where have you stumbled? Seven days is really a piece of piss, okay? Even the hardest addictions, um, you know, can you go a couple of days? What's that going to be like? Willpower, I'd love to know your thoughts on willpower. Try out the 54321, just do it. Literally, you don't want to get up, you don't want to get out of bed. Throw back the cover, put your feet on the floor. 54321, just do it. Um, and role modeling. We shall talk more about that. Think about it over the next 24 hours. Be ready, prepared to bring your thoughts and experiences on, on role modeling, on, on being a good example to yourself and to those around you. It's brilliant to have you on the One Habit Challenge. I will see you tomorrow. Share your questions, ask me anything. And, um, and the personal calls, I'm bringing this up for the first time actually, book yourself on for... Uh, it's up to you really, but certainly a half hour, 45 minutes, one-on-one -on -one with me, uh, where you can let me know what it is that you're up to, why this challenge was important to you, what habit, what personal growth, what is it? And this is getting down to the, bo the, 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 the boiling it down to the Team Super Dad mission. It's men having a clear vision of the life they want to create and having the clarity and confidence to go out there and bloody do it. Not living a life that we feel stuck in, but living the life that we know that we deserve. And that's what it's all about. I'll see you tomorrow. Message replay in the chat when you've watched this. Team Superdad out.